Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning. I want to do a quick video here uh, on a couple, couple things I did to the bike. Um, it's been a few months since I did any kind of videos on my Goldwing and uh, I've just been out riding her and enjoying her after all the service stuff I did to it and upgrades and uh, did a couple more things and I want to make y'all aware of. Um, unfortunately, when I did it, I didn't make a video to show exactly what I was doing step by step, but since I have the seat off again, I'm just going to kind of go over uh, the basics of it. But uh, the main thing I wanted to point out here is I did the uh, cruise control modification because I took a trip to San Antonio. I live in Spring, north side of Houston here. I took a trip to San Antonio uh, the other weekend, and good stretches of those are 75 miles an hour speed limit. And, uh, of course, everybody's going 85, 90, up to 100 miles an hour, so... I was going 85, 90 miles an hour to keep up with everybody and get out of the way and stay out of the way. And um, uh, I could not use the cruise control because, as everybody knows, cruise, cruise controls work in fourth and fifth gear. And they it works from uh, 30 miles an hour to uh, 80 miles an hour. So 80 miles an hour is the max it'll set. So the cruise control on those good stretches on the, that stretch of freeway there was worthless but anyway so i got back and i googled you know if there was some kind of modification i didn't know there was and and then uh of course some of y'all might know there is a modification you can do which i found on the internet and i wanted to point it out to you so what you got to do right here now i've got the seat off here's the <clears throat> the back rest of the passenger seat the speakers and i read that you got to take the trunk off but you don't so you take the seat off and you're looking for the plug you got to deal with which is the c33 plug right here this is a 22 pin plug and when i took my seat off and i was looking at some diagrams i couldn't see any plugs but i realized that these plugs they have a, a plastic protective case over them or at least mine does so you see this case right here and there's a plug in there and then i got another plug right here there's a case so um so you got to take this case off so it opens up don't break these tabs be careful and then uh this this opens up and that case comes off and then you got a 22 pin plug under there and then you want to undo that plug and again use a little screwdriver take the pressure off the tabs and uh and and then pull the plug apart and, and you know again be careful you break all break all these plastic tabs uh so once you get that case off you got the plug undone what you want to do is you want to look at the so this is the c33 plug if you look on a diagram and um yeah, so what when you get it apart you want to look at we're going to work with pins three and four and then the color of the wires on those pins are the red and white wire and the green and orange wire and what you're going to do is you're going to remove those wires out of the um, connector you get a little pick and you put it in the in the holes up front on the bottom and release the pressure off the little metal um, connectors and it releases and then pull those wires out and then you're going to swap the positions of those two pins three and four red white wire green orange wire swap those positions put them back put the plug back put everything back and that tricks the module or somehow to where now and i tested this you can run this cruise control over 80 miles an hour so i got out and tested and i was setting the cru cruise control at 90 miles an hour worked perfect so for this particular mod i read that it works on the i believe they said the 93 and up model or perhaps it was the 95 and up model um i think below that year uh, there's a different kind of modification, but mine's a 97, so this modification worked for me, and it worked perfect. So like I said, I got out, set the cruise, cruise control at 90 miles an hour. I was so happy about that. But anyway, so that's a modification I wanted to point out. And y'all might already knew about it, but I just wanted to point that out. And then you can see here, another thing that I did a while back is I got my handle off, and the reason I can't take the handle off or pull the handle away when I take it off is because I got a I got a 12 volt outlet that I put right here a heavy duty one because uh my girlfriend likes to have a she gets cold real quick so I have her make put a plug here so she can plug in an electric blanket and uh so it's got a heavy gauge wire because there's anything electric like that that for heat what draws a lot of current so uh, amps so I got a heavy duty wire I got that but I have this module here for the passenger the JNM module I found brand new on the internet. Some Cycle Shack was, Cycle Shop was uh, selling this thing, 
I got it real for cheap too. It's ninety nine dollars because they don't make this anymore. J and M, and what the, what this is is this is a inline plug and play uh, for the passenger on the headset because uh, she gets a lot of. You know, we use the headsets, and uh, there's a lot of wind noise on her microphone. So this, you're able to uh, cut the mic on and off with this switch right here. You can see what the uh, what it says on there. But anyway, you can um, cut the cut the uh, mic on and off. So she can cut that on and off. If she's not using it, I don't have to hear the wind noise in my headset. Um, she's got her own separate volume control for the headset, control the music, control my voice, so she can have her own volume up to the max of the volume that I have it set. So she can turn, turn it down because I'm deaf and I have it real loud and she can turn it down here. And with this, she has a push to talk on the CB. So if she wanted to, if we were using the CB in a group ride, she could, the passenger could actually talk on the CB, CB push to talk. So she pushes this in, holds it, and she can talk on the CB. So I bought that modification mainly for the, for the volume control and the, and the microphone, cut the microphone on and off. So that was a good little update I did. And then uh, going on that same San, An San Antonio trip with the uh, cruise control issue, I uh, blew out some speakers because I was jam I had the music cranked 90 miles an hour. But I'd already had a problem with this speaker rattling right here, so that I knew that it was kind of blown. Well, this other one started rattling real bad. It got blown, and when I took the took them out, I could tell there was a little tear on the edges of the of the paper uh, speaker uh, were coming apart. And of course, you know they're old, and uh, they're the old paper ones. So I got online and I ordered the Polk Audio marine certified speakers and they're the db db 402 models and i put them in they're working great and uh and then they had the little polk emblems that you can uh badges you can put on there so i went ahead and put those badges on but now hey it works great sounds good and uh got more watts i think these are up to 135 watts and uh and they're marine certified and unfortunately my front speakers they, they they're still working great and unfortunately uh uh the polk audios made the i think they were the 502 models the uh polk audio uh to go in here if you want to replace but they don't make them anymore and there's no newer model from polk that i saw but but uh to replace them but i wasn't going to replace these anyway because you have to take all this stuff apart the whole you know uh, the windshield take the mirrors off and all this stuff I'm not gonna I don't want to do all that to change just to change out the speakers so that they're still working good but if you know if they blow one day because of age I'm gonna have to replace them and uh, unfortunately Polk Audio doesn't make those speakers anymore um, uh, that match the back sets that are the models you know same marine certified ones to go in here so I, I don't know which ones I would be getting but fronts are working good anyway so that's a couple modifications i've done main one like i said was that cruise cruise control and uh she's working uh been been going good just uh i've been having a lot of fun with her and uh i'm <clears throat> about to go on a ride this morning so i'm doing a couple things um uh to it uh, uh before i get get out and uh, but anyway i wanted to do a video uh, just because I hadn't done one in a while and the other thing that I got to do is I still got to change those timing belts which um, uh, I definitely will be doing here in the next few months but I'm you know I don't think I'm gonna have any issues it's a 97 course is age you know getting up there in age 20 what seven years old now but I've got you know 67 what do I got there 67 9 8 8 so that's the mileage on it, but it's because of the age you want to change those uh, belts out. So that's that's going to be another video I'm going to do. Not not a step by step because there's lots of step by step videos out there, but I'll just be showing what I'm going to do on her. So anyway, just wanted to show y'all what I've been doing, what I've been up to with the gold wing, and uh, it's a beautiful uh, sunny morning here in Spring, Texas, and uh, uh, it's about. 62 degrees right now gonna get on up to about 70 and a beautiful uh, riding weather here Saturday morning so I'm gonna put the seat back on kind of clean the windshield off and uh, get to riding all right talk to y'all on the next video